Tom Fulton, police officer under investigation by the GBI. He's accused of using excessive force against a man who just happens to be a leading activist for police reform. 11 Alive's John Sherrick is on that story for us tonight. Friday afternoon, traffic tied up. Drivers trying to get around a bad accident on Roosevelt Highway in the city of South Fulton. Tell me why ain't nobody directing traffic. A driver gets out of his car afraid that careless drivers might cause another accident here. He walks up to the only officer on the scene recording on his cell phone. He is Marcus Coleman, a leading activist and architect of progressive police reforms in the city of South Fulton Police Department and across the country. Hey, officer. How come, how come ain't nobody directing traffic right here? Coleman's cell phone video shows a simple question escalate over the next couple of minutes into a confrontation between Coleman and Officer Solomon Mohammed. Mohammed is telling Coleman that he was writing up the accident report while waiting for another officer to arrive to direct traffic. Yeah, I'm doing the report. Yeah, that's cool. We'll see what Chief Meadows say about that, Chief. Yeah, yeah. No, we got to do You can stop walking up on me, sir. You can stop walking up on me. You know you can. You can stop. He snapped. Coleman says Officer Muhammad pressed a taser against his chest. He surrendered. Officer Muhammad handcuffed him and kept Coleman in the back of his patrol car for nearly an hour without telling him why, until a supervisor showed up and ordered Coleman released. He's a loose cannon. He's part of the problem. The city of South Fulton emailed us the city's policy, which states, in part, that the city does not condone and will not tolerate excessive use of force by our officers. We provide de-escalation and other innovative training to prevent such incidents. Marcus Coleman says he wants the officer fired and charged, and that even a progressive city needs to police its police. I'm not discouraged by any means that this happened to me. If anything, it's further highlighted it and propelled us forward to a better policing community. Officer Muhammad is now on administrative duty while the GBI investigates and the city considers whether to pursue possible charges against him.